Hey friends, my name is Joe McFerrin. Today we're going to go over why Adobe Commerce, formerly known as Magento, is one of the top platforms for B2B commerce and why you may want to choose it for your platform. I'm with IWD Agency and for the last 12 years we've helped hundreds of brands grow online through developing their sites, designing it, implementing it, and optimizing it for better conversions. One of the areas we specialize in is in B2B and we've been working with Magento for the last 10 years. So we know this platform inside and out and it is absolutely stunning when it comes to the B2B features it has out of the box. It has a ton of these features so we don't have time to go through them all but I'll go through some of the top features and why you may want to consider it for your platform. Many times to build a B2B solution, it can take three to six months to go live with a B2B solution. With our extension, this allows us to reduce this time and go live quicker for companies that need a B2B solution quicker and more efficiently. If you're interested in a B2B solution for your brand, make sure to contact us. We can help you research what platform is the best for your brand as this video is more generalized. Our contact information is below or you can email us at hi at iwdagency.com. Forrester has done a complete analysis of all the platforms out there and Adobe Commerce continues to rank at the top year after year. And here are some of the reasons why it continues to do so well. The first thing is Adobe Commerce is completely open source, which is one of the biggest features of Adobe Commerce, even if you're not using it for B2B. Being open source allows you to change any kind of code you want on the platform. It allows complete flexibility and control. When you use another platform, such as Shopify or BigCommerce, these are hosted platforms. And so you don't get access to all the code. And you can't change everything on the platform that you may want to change. One of the true benefits of Adobe Commerce is it's completely open source. That allows you to change anything that you want and there's no limitations to it. Basically anything that you can imagine on your storefront, you can build. Another major thing that Adobe Commerce has over other platforms is it can handle multiple stores in one admin panel. So this can be used in in many different ways. So the first way is the kind of the simplest is that it can be used for your retail side, your B2C version of it, and then it can also be used for your B2B version. And it's all managed in one admin panel. So you don't have to go through different admin panels to see how sales are doing. You log into one place, see all your sales, see all your customers, manage all your products and manage your whole storefront in one area, which is a huge time saver. The other things that this allows you to do is have multiple brands managed under one admin panel. So if you're a manufacturer and and you have a lot of B2C or B2B versions of your site, this can all feed up into one admin panel. And then the third way that this really helps out is for international sales. So you may want a different site for France or Europe in general, or you may want an Australian site or US site or a Canadian site. And those can all be managed in one admin panel, but you can also have different things such as different payment methods, different languages, different home pages, so that it speaks to those regions and not just to one region overall. The next thing that Adobe Commerce does very well over the other platforms is it can handle complex products. Magento out of the box has a lot of different types of products that it can handle. It can handle simple products, so it's is your basic product type, configurable products, bundled products. You can do a lot of things with this and we can have a whole video about the different types of products that Magento can handle. But this allows you, especially as a manufacturer, to set it up where if you have something that needs a lot of configurations, you can do that out of the box with Magento, which makes it stand apart from a lot of the other ones. The fourth thing that Adobe Commerce offers is that you can register companies. They can apply to be part of your B2B wholesale system and they can be approved in the back end if they meet all the criteria that you have. The fifth the thing that Adobe Commerce has over a lot of other platforms out there is that allows you to register employees and companies and to have different roles inside there. You can have managers, which would have the approval process for large orders. You can have employees, which can request for approval. This is similar to what Amazon has. So you can request, hey, I need to buy this large order. Then that goes to a manager for approval. You can have sales roles so that they can register companies. They can also have their own reports for their sales commissions. And then you can even have organizations groups under this as well. This allows you to manage your wholesalers and give them different permissions so that they can have different approval processes as they place large orders with your company. The sixth thing that Adobe Commerce has is requisition list. This is similar to a wish list. The big difference between a wish list and a requisition list is that you can say, hey, these are the top 100 items that we typically buy from a wholesale company. If we need to reorder, we can go to that list quickly and find that. Once you purchase those items, they stay on the requisition list so they can easily come back to this list and reorder quickly and efficiently. The seventh big feature is request a quote feature. Someone can come to your site and say, hey, I want to buy 10,000 shirts 
shirts or I want to buy 500 shirts. There might be different quotes you'd give to someone with a larger bulk order or maybe they're a preferred customer so they can request a quote from you guys. Once that quote comes through, it'll come through your administrative panel, notify your team. Your team can say, yes, this is the price. And once that goes back to the customer, they have the option to say, okay, I approve it. Or they can say, that's a little too high for me. Can you please give me a little bit larger discount so I can move forward with the order? This allows a little bit of back and forth, but it also allows you to get these quotes and approve them quickly as well. The eighth major benefit of Adobe Commerce is it allows you to place orders using CSV files. Larger companies that may have thousands of line items that they need to order from you guys, they can have a CSV file that they just push right to your system. And it can be even automated from another tool saying, oh, we're low in stock in these and we want to place a hundred different items with a whole bunch of different quantities of each. And that automatically go into your system and place an order. Once again, this is a huge time saver and a huge benefit of Adobe Commerce for B2B companies. The ninth major feature for B2B solutions is set up different payment methods for the different groups that you have. If you have wholesale users and they're allowed to use different payment methods, even per country or for being a wholesaler like a net 30 or something like that, you can do this through Magento Commerce out of the box. And then the 10th feature that Adobe Commerce has is they have sales reps commissions built in there. If you have sales reps associated with different accounts, and in a monthly report, you need to go in there and see how much commission each one gets. This can be automated through Adobe Commerce as well. Adobe Commerce is packed full of features for B2B commerce solutions. And we think that Adobe Commerce is the best solution for B2B customers, especially if you have a bigger complex brand, Adobe Commerce beats all the others out of the water. The nice thing about Adobe Commerce is that it's extendable, meaning you can add extensions to it to accelerate development and to get live faster or get features faster. This also allows you to test different solutions and if they work for you, then keep using them. And if they don't, turn them off and move to the next thing. We've talked about some core features that come with Adobe Commerce for B2B solutions. Let's talk a little bit about the extension that we've built for B2B solutions as well. And I'll go through this quickly. We've got a ton of features built in here, so I won't go through all of them. Basically what it is in a nutshell, Adobe's Commerce features are more back-end focused, but they don't have much front-end built out. So the front end is still going to be your basic e-commerce theme layout. We've built an add-on that will allow more front end functionality for your consumers to log into the system and know exactly what to do and where to go and allows more efficiency for order processing and for placing orders. So we'll go through some of the features real quick. What you're seeing now is Magento installed out of the box. This is the Luma theme, which is the basic theme that you're going to get when you install Magento. And this is basically the theme that has no customizations to it. It's just out of the box. And then the only thing that we've done to this theme was we've installed one extension. If you click sign in here, the first thing that you'll see is a custom login page, which you can brand. You can put logo or your branding here. This is kind of your first impression as a wholesaler that you would get to log in. To start off, let's say I am not a wholesaler. I want to register with your company. I come here. I'll click on the registration form and then there'll be a whole bunch of fields that I'll need to fill out to become a registered wholesaler for you. And we've made this area super customizable as well. So it's easy to add in different fields that you may require for wholesalers to fill out. It might be their tax ID. It might be how long they've been in business, their business address, the size of company they are, or the expected amount of orders so that you can put them in a tier. What will happen from here is this will go to your administrative panel and notify your team that you have a new wholesaler that that's applying for an account. You will then review the information and decide if they fit all your requirements and you can approve them. Once they are approved, then they'll get an email notifying, hey, congratulations, you're now approved to be a vendor of ours and they'll get access to the system. Now, once they have access to the system, they'll get their credentials and they can log into your wholesale platform. Traditional user interface is not going to be as efficient for them. If they're going to be ordering hundreds of products, they need a different layout than your typical B2C vendor because clicking one by one on each product can take a really long time. The first thing you'll see up here is that you can do a quick search for your whole catalog and quickly add these products to an order. You don't necessarily have to go to each product. You can quickly add them to your cart just by clicking on them. So if they already know the products they want, they can quickly come in here and add them. So you can see the bar at the bottom that's already adding up the totals every time I click on different products. Once again, this is kind of your starting point. These are all customizable. I'll just go through some of the top features that our customers really like. The view all product tab. This is a very important tab. So you have the quick search up here, but if you do 
view all, you're actually shopping the whole catalog. And from here, you can quickly search by product name, product SKU, and see if they're available in your prices. The other really cool thing about this layout is you can also quickly drop down here and see different variations of the products you can add. And this is built for efficiency so that your wholesalers can quickly come in here and add items to their cart without having to do a whole bunch of navigation. And let's just say they're interested in this jacket, but they've never purchased it before. Well, now they can quickly click on here, have a quick view of the information, see the image a little bit larger and decide if they want it. You can add in different columns here easily from the administrative panel. So if you know that one of the areas that your customers are always looking for, maybe it's a different attributes, I could filter by that so that I only see the parts that are associated with that attribute of the product. Now that they've added some more items to their cart, they can either request a quote, which once again will go to your administrative panel for your salespeople to decide with the right pricing, or they can go ahead and check out here. So now that we're back at the dashboard, you can see some different areas. Order by files. You can upload a CSV file and order a large quantity of products here. You can either download a sample file so that you can see the formatting that you have, or you can upload your file and place an order quickly here. You can see your previously ordered products here. If you're continuously ordering the same items over and over again, you can click on the previously ordered tab and that will bring you to the items that this person's ordered before so that they can reorder them again. So the next section is the download center. This is very important for a lot of wholesalers to get information and media out to their wholesalers and their vendors to resell their products. If you click on these sections, you'll be able to see different types of media per product and download these all at once. This makes it very easy for wholesalers to come in here and get more information about each product. This is for product files particularly, but this marketing materials, this is for your whole company in general. So if you have branding information, logos, or different types of information that you want your wholesalers to use on their storefronts, you can have all this marketing material here. The next section is manage users. A wholesaler can come in here and add different employees that they want to allow to access the system. If it's a company that has hundreds of employees and they want to have them all in here, this isn't something that you have to manually do as a wholesaler. So they can have people from their company come in here and place orders on their behalf for them and enable more people to use the system. Another cool feature that we built into this system is we allow sales reps to log in from the wholesaler side. They can come in here and add items to the cart and then allow their customer to check out or to approve the order, which is very helpful as well. So anyways, that is the basics of our B2B extension. Once again, the nice thing about Adobe Commerce is you can customize it as much as you want, but this gives you a leg up and a quick start with a ton of features out of the box. And if you need help doing that, once again, this is what we specialize in. We call ourselves the wedding coordinators at e-commerce. So we know where to go for different solutions as well. So we can connect you with different people depending on the problems that you have. We've been doing this for 12 plus years now. So if you need any help, hit us up at hi at iwdagency.com and we'll catch you next time. See ya, bye.